What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough. Okay, so, off screen, I did a lot of training, almost spent all my money, and uh, here we have our Pokemon are leveled up just a tad bit. Uh, Leonardo, of course, stayed the same because, well, it will evolve in four levels, so I kind of don't want to do that. So, yeah, did a lot of capturing of, uh, capturing of Pokemon and, uh, you know, training, just to train up both Smasher and Buckets to its original levels. We're really close. So now, we're going to be going straight to Lavender Town and battling some more Pokemon trainers around here. So, let's go right ahead and go with the Pokemon that hasn't even gotten any, uh, any kind of action in, like, a few days prior to the recordings and all that stuff. Let's do this. We hikers are naturals at climbing mountains. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Going up against Hiker Clark. Hiker Clark is looking jolly ollie man right here. And he's coming out with his Geodude. Of course, I'm already ready for this guy. So let's go with Leonardo right here. Alrighty. Let's do this. Scald attack. Yeah, buddy. And what the hell is he doing? Oh, he's doing bite, I think. Maybe. I don't know. So there we go. Scalding him. Oh, yes. No more Rock-type Pokemon right there. Finally. And here we're going up against a Graveler. So let's just continue on right here. Let's do this. Let's get it. Another Scald for the win. Look at that. No more Graveler. Oh, yes. And luckily for us, it doesn't have its sturdy effect, so, like, you know, this is actually making everything easy right here. So, Hiker Clark defeated, and we get more money and more Pokeballs and all that stuff, too. So, off screen, I did a little bit of capturing, and I managed to catch myself another pr a rare Pokemon right here. Let me go ahead and show you. Uh, it's right here, Shiny Golbat. I gotta name him just so I don't have to, like, you know accidentally uh, delete them or anything like that so let's go ahead and take a look at shiny gold bat look at that shiny gold bat looking all glorious and all that stuff and its stats right here are pretty good very very good stats so I guess we got ourselves a pretty good Pokemon right there and then if you guys recall I actually did catch my, myself a shiny Geodude as well in I think Mo Mount Moon or, th or something like that so look at that shiny Geodude and its stats are okay I guess but we're just going to be added them to the collection and all that stuff, too. So, let's go ahead and continue on our adventure right here. It's been a while. We're grabbing ourselves three more Great Balls. Could have gotten them before, but we kind of lost progress right here. So, moving on. Let's see what this sign has to say. Rock Tunnel. Nothing else. And, of course, there's an item right here somewhere. Bam. Buy Nana Berries. And, well, she is a trainer that might be using a, probably a grass type here or there. So... Let's go ahead and move to Budkiss right here and see what he can do. And actually, there's one thing that I failed to do. You can actually take out Pokemon from their Pokeballs. So, let's take him out right here. And look at that. Budkiss is walking with you. Alrighty. I'm feeling a bit faint. I haven't hiked in some time. Okay, alrighty. Not for the faint of heart or anything like that. So here we go, Picnicker Carol wants the battle and she will be coming out with her Pikachu and I think I picked the right Pokemon probably. Alright Buckus, let's do this. Let's get it. Buckus, level 24 right now, it does have pretty good moves now, it actually learned Heat Wave uh, off screen. And look at that, a light screen increasing its special attack or defense. And there we go. So we're going to have to go with another move right here. Let's go with a dig attack. And crap baskets. Here comes Thunderbolt. And that takes a chunk. So we're going to dig our way out of here. And let's see what happens. Another Thunderbolt misses. So here we go. Dig attack does its thing. That's right. We know Pokemon. We know how to win. And she's coming out with a Pidgeotto. So let's go ahead and switch it out to Sparky. Again, you guys are probably asking, why aren't you using Mew? You got Mew on the team. When are you going to use Mew? Eventually, guys. Eventually. I just don't know when the situation will, will ask of Mew. I don't know. Maybe pretty soon. So here we go. Zippy Zap. This Pidgeotto. Look at that. Try doing that with a baseball cap. 
Yeah, buddy. Pikachu does his thing. Pidgeotto doesn't do a thing, and bam! Picnic or Carol has been defeated, and I'm getting more Pokeballs while I'm at it. In fact, I ran out of all my Ultra Balls and my uh, and my Great Balls just trying to capture different Pokemon right here. So let's see. Let's go back to Leonardo right here and continue our adventure. And, well, is there an item right here? Probably not. Okay. Let's see what this guy has to say. Ah! This Mountaineer is so delicious! Alright, bring it. Let's go, homeboy. Alrighty, so we're taking on Camper Trent right here. And he'll be coming out with a Krabby. Krabby the Crab Dog. And, well... Kind of at a disadvantage, probably because of its defense, but we can use different types of attacks right here. So here we go, bite attack. Nice chunk, here comes that leer. Look at this crabby dancing his thing. It's doing its crab core and stuff, but guess what? I got myself a brick break. Let's see what happens right here. Oh yes, no more crabby. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, look at that. And let's see, about to use Sand Slash. Say no more. Alrighty. Let's go. Say no more. Let's go with the Scald Attack. Come on. Scald Attack does its trick. And say goodbye to that Sand Slash. Alrighty, okay, look at that. And Trent has been defeated. And get more Pokeballs right there, which is pretty good. I like this system right here. Okay, so let's move on right here. Do we have another item? No, but Budkiss is going to keep on following us right here. Eventually, we'll be able to, like, fly on a Pokemon or get on a Onyx and stuff. Or we can we can actually get on Onyx anytime. But right here, I kind of want to just uh, try some different Pokemon. So let's go with Sparky again. And, well, let's go ahead and battle this guy. Hi, kid! Want to see my Pokemon? Sure. Pretty sure they're pretty good Pokemon. Just, it's a shame that I have to beat them. So here we go. We are challenged by Pokemaniac Damien. And, well, he will be coming out with his very own Charmander. Or Charmeleon, I should say. Alrighty. You got a very good Pokemon. Kind of wanted to use Charmeleon, but... Yeah, we kinda, we're, we're kind of using them everywhere. So let's... We're just taking the break right here. And BAM! Thunder Attack does its thing. Damn, Pikachu, you scary. Alrighty, this Pikachu right here is a badass Pikachu, and I'm loving it. Alrighty, so nothing else right there. Let's go right ahead and move on, and no items, nothing, nothing right here. Okay, so here we are, Lavender Town, finally. Now, there's something going on right here. There is a Cubone walking into the Pokemon Tower, and oh my god. And there's Trace. Huh. What in the heck is going on? So, yeah. A Cubone just ran in there with Trace. So, something's afoot, I guess. Don't go disturbing things in the Pokemon Tower. Disturbing things? What are you talking about? I don't know. Okay, first, let's go to the Pokemon Center. I've been dying to get in there for quite some time. So, let's go ahead and uh, heal our Pokemon. That's uh, right, Pikachu. Look at that. Everybody's getting healed. Mew. Hasn't used a single move yet. I kid you not, guys. I have not used Mew at all, especially off-screen. There was actually no need to use him off-screen, but... Yeah. Let's see. Team Rocket will do anything for the sake of money. There is no job too dirty, no deed too heinous, no crime too wicked. Oh, wow. And you know how Cubone wears skulls, right? From what I've learned, uh, heard, it seems people will pay a lot for one of those skulls. Hmm. True. What's this beauty has to say? Do Cantonian or Cantononian Diglett look smooth? My Diglett looks prickly. Do you want to trade our Diglett? Sure. So if you guys are looking for a Cantonian or a Alolan Diglett, this is the person to go to. All you have to do is just trade her any any Diglett that you may have, and she'll trade one back. So. Here it is, guys, our first trade on screen. We're saying bye-bye, uh, and she's going to give us Digge. And as all everybody, or as many of you guys already know, Cantonian Diglett has a little bit of a different typing than the regular Diglett right here. I mean, Alolan Diglett has a di different typing. 
This guy right here has three hairs. But it is both a ground and steel type Pokemon. So that right there is a very, very good uh, advantage. Now, she says, wow, it's true. It looks so smooth. Thank you so much. Let's trade again, okay? Now, I, I did say that I was going to actually use it in a Alolan Pokemon at some point on my team. But Cantonian Diglett is not one of them. It really, or Alolan, Alolan Diglett is not one of them because, you know, I already have myself a ground type Pokemon. So we're just, we're still going to have to move on and see who else needs a, a Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and grab this or talk to her and says, I saw Cubone's mother trying to escape from Team Rocket, but she got caught. I was so scared that I couldn't even try to, to save her. Well, what she really meant was that uh, Team Rocket killed her. So... Yeah, that right there is really, really deep. You know, going into the whole uh, Diglett situation. So we're gonna actually eventually find out. Talk to this guy. There's a lot. There's talk about ghosts appearing lately in the Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon kidnapped by Team Rocket and never seen again. Again, they're not gonna say killed or anything like that because, yeah, it's a tough subject, especially for a kids game. Now here we are in the Pokemon house. I think. Let's see. That's odd. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? Somewhere. Now, if you go right here, you would win a grand prize drawing given out to Pokemon Fan Magazine, and the application form is gone. It has been clipped out. Huh. And let's talk to this girl. This place is actually Mr. Fuji's home. He's really kind. He, look, he looks after Pokemon that have been abandoned or orphaned. You don't say. All right, let's go. Of course, we're taking a small tour of Lavender Town. With a few or hints of uh, battles right here. And here we have this person. Or this place right here. And let's see what they, this person has to say. I could never forgive Team Rocket. Right now we're taking care of Cubone whose mother uh, Mar Marowak was. She was caught by Team Rocket and that was it. We never saw her again. Oh wow. Deep, 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 deep subject right here. And, well, let's see. If you guys have watched Pokemon Origins, you guys would actually get the idea of what eventually happened to, you know, Cubone's mama right there. Now, if you talk to this guy, be sure to name your Pokemon with love when you give them a new name. After all, nobody wants to have a silly name. That is true. This guy would be the name raider if you're playing the regular games right here. So, let's go ahead and continue on right here. Let's see. Uh, talk to this person. Ah, the smell of incense is so refreshing. Hmm. Okay. And I think we have like two more people to talk to. Let's see. This town is famous for all its graves made here for Pokemon. They hold memorial services in the Pokemon Tower for Pokemon that have passed away. Really? And let's see. Let's read this sign right here. Lavender Town, the noble, uh, no, noble purple town. Purple town. Why? Wow, I can't even say that right. And let's see. Do you believe in ghosts? No. I <laughs> guess not. That white hand on your shoulder. I'm just imagining it. Yeah, there's no white hand on there. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's going on. But first, Budkiss has, searched, has seen something. What the hell? What is What is it, boy? And Budkiss is, uh, is taking in the scent of a flowers. There's probably something right here. I don't know. Okay, so let's go into the Pokemon Tower. See what Trace is uh, up to. And, well, it is kind of scary. So we're going to have to be careful around this area right here. As you can see, it's a little more organized now than in the regular Pokemon games right here. And if you talk to this lady, the Pokemon Tower was erected in memory of Pokemon that passed away. And here we have a Chandler. I'm a Chandler! One of the one who speaks to spirits. I sense a lost spirit somewhere high in this tower. You don't say. So... Let's go right ahead and see what's going on. And would you look at that? Our good old buddy Trace is right there. And she this lady right here is like, You there! I wish I wish to know the truth behind the wandering spirits haunting this tower. Well, even we challengers can't identify them. Maybe there's a right tool. Yes! Perhaps a oscilloscope might let one see the truth behind a mystery. Hmm. True. Alright. So let's see what the homeboy is doing here. And he's just wondering where this Cubones went. And he's like, what the hell's going on? Hey! If it isn't Draven. But what are you doing here? No way, Draven! Your Pokemon didn't die or anything, right? No. 
Oh boy, I'm glad I was a wrong uh, wrong this time. But maybe I should check on your Pokemon. Really, uh, uh, check that on uh, your Pokemon are really doing well with the battle. Alrighty, so here we go, another Pokemon battle against our good old buddy Trace, and of course he does have that facial expression I absolutely hate. So he's coming out with his Pidgeotto, and we're gonna be going with Sparky right here. Alrighty, let's go right ahead and do our thing. Let's go big and go home. And, oh crud, seriously? Thunder, let's go, let's go. Thunder attack! That's right. Oh, it just looks brutal. It just looks brutal just looking at that. And look at that, this this Pokemon is no more. I am feeling great about myself. And well, he's gonna come out with Gloom. We got a Pokemon for that situation. Let's go with Buckus right here. I got a move that I kind of want to use right now. And he only has three Pokemon. I don't know why, though. So here he comes with his Gloom. Looking all gloomy and stuff with its, uh, with its uh, Slavis. So here we go. Heat Wave. And it avoided an attack. So we both avoid attacks. Try this again. Heat Wave. For the win. Ooh. And it's burned. That's right. All righty. All righty. Come get some. And, of course, that attack is not super effective. But here we go again. Let's finish this guy off with the flamethrower. Yeah, buddy. Flamethrower for the win. Look at that. No more gloom. Feeling great about myself. And Butkus grows to level 25, which is great, too. And, well, let's see. Let's go with a Jolteon. Oh, you got a Jolteon? Huh. Did you evolve your Eevee? Okay, let's go with Smasher right here. Let's do this. I didn't know that you can actually evolve your Eevee. I wonder if I act if I could actually evolve my uh, Pikachu. Comment down below, guys. And here comes Jolteon. Alrighty. You're looking all mean and everything, but guess what? Body slam that prickly back. And, well, quick attack does its thing, but here comes that body slam for the win. Maybe, I don't know. All right, let's try this one more time. Body slam. Ah, crap baskets. Here we go, another body slam. Eventually, eventually, uh, Smasher's gonna learn some better moves right here. So let's go with a bite, just to finish this guy off. And, are you serious? Uh, you suck. Okay, bite attack. It's okay. It's okay, we're gonna finish him off right here. Body slam attack, and here comes that quick attack. So here we go, Body Slam does its thing, nearly does it, god dang. Alright, try it one more time. And this guy, again, going with Quick Attacks, because it's the only move it can actually use. And look at that. Man, it should have been done quickly, but guess what, it doesn't. Look at that, Pokemon are growing levels. Maybe your Pokemon are doing a little too well. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Aw, oh, shoot. When we battled, we scared off the Cubone. You know Cubone, right, Draven? It's a Pokemon that's always wearing a skull. That Cubone looked like it was searching for something. Maybe, maybe it's up to one of the higher floors. Hmm, you don't say. All right, so let's go right ahead and take a look at where this Cubone might be, and let's grab this item here while we're at it. There we go. Okay, so there is a, a trainer coach right here. I think I'm going to battle her. I, I, I want to get to the bottom of this. How did a c coward like me end up in charge of a Pokemon Tower? <laughs> want to battle? Well, I'm kind of strong. Here goes nothing. She is scared. It's like she got the, the short end of the, le uh, the, the, the string right here, or, or whatever you, the expression is. Yeah, she got, she got screwed by coming into this place right here. So she has a Geodude. And... Yeah, this is gonna be interesting right here. So let's go with a double kick. There we go. Bam. One kick. Two kick. There we go. And here comes that rock slide attack. Good gravy. That right there kind of hurt. So let's go one more time. Double kick. Look at this. One. And that's it. One and done. Look at that. And I think we just defeated her. I tremble at your strength. That's right, baby. You tremble at my strength. 
That battle took my mind off of things a little bit. Here's a uh, found. Uh, here's uh, here I found things. Uh, these lying around, and we get ourselves five Pikachu candies, and of course it will make my Pikachu a little stronger. And I was actually told that if the Pikachu icon appears, Pikachu wants to talk to me. What's up, Spark? Sparky's acting like it wanted a something. Okay. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go, Pikachu. There we go. Okay. And then what else? Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's go with this one. There we go. It's a good Pikachu right there. Okay, so... Yeah. It wanted to talk to me about something. Okay, so... Before... We progressed any f any further. Uh, let's see. There is a shout out that I want to give. Let's see. Let's see. Where are you? Where are you? Um. Let's see. Charmander, please walk through. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. So shout out to Ray T E or the Entertainer. Thank you for letting me know about that whole Pikachu thing. It says on uh, episode four of my Pokemon. Uh, my Pokemon, uh, let's go Pikachu walkthrough. Great video. Just know when the Pikachu icon pops up, it means Pikachu wants to play or do so or has something to say. So thank you again, Ray, the entertainer, for letting me know. Again, I value you guys, your, your guys' comments. If you guys have something to say about, like, you forgot this or that, I'll make sure to get back to it whenever I can right here. So let's move on right here. And whoa. Cubone! Cubone! Come out! Come out wherever you are! And, wow, the smoke is getting a little thicker right here, and I don't see any sign of it. Uh-oh. Is that? Oh, damn, it's a... It's a... It's a... It's a... It's a ghost! It's a ghost! Oh, God. Get out! Be gone! And here's Cubone. Me! Me! And what the hell is going on right here? This Cubone right here is like, ma! Oh, damn. Cub Cubone sadly trudged away downstairs. Huh. So, sadly, we can't do anything else right here until we, well, get the, uh, the, the self scope. So, we're going to go back down and see what's going on. And again, Pikachu is actually asking me. Let's see, what's going on? Oh. Uh... Oh, poor guy. Okay, so I'm just gonna... It's okay. It's okay, Pikachu. It's okay. It's okay, Pikachu. Come on. You'll be fine. Alrighty, so... See, it's a little happy. Again, thank you for the advice. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna be getting the heck out of here. Of course, uh... Can't go any further without the Silscope. So, that is pretty much it for our, our episode right here. Of course, I had to do this in a rush just to... You know, get things going. Just to move ahead on uh, onto my uh, adventure right here. So, let's see. In the next episode, we're going to be going north, east, south, west. We're going to be going west. Going to Celadon City. So, stay tuned, guys. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu walkthrough.